Minasan no Karina Sai. Today's video might be a little bit shorter about someone I am ashamed to admit that I was a fan of for a long time but couldn't put two and two together. I knew about the leader of a certain underrated idol group, and I knew about the little sister of someone I admired very much, but I didn't realize they were the same person. That person being Chiharu Hokaze or Terakawa, or simply just Chiharu. Born April 10th, 1995 in Hyogo Prefecture, affiliated with Hibiki Agency. The youngest of three children, Chiharu has loved video games ever since she was in preschool, and would often watch her older brother play. She says that her brother is the reason that she started to learn about voice actors as well. Her career began in December 2016, after successfully passing the Nanabu no Nijuni auditions, joining the unit and becoming their leader, portraying Raika Sato in both voice acting and motion capture. This would be her main focus up until 2019, where she voiced Sylvia in Fate Grand Order Absolute Demonic Front Babylonia. What a mouthful. In 2020, the Nanabun anime began to air, where she reprised her role as her character. But this year, she also announced that she would be graduating from the group after the February 2021 live, where she would then switch her focus to becoming a seiyu. After five years, seven singles, and one full album with the group. In September of 2021, she began working with the agency Hibiki, under the name Chiharu, dropping the Hokuse. I feel like there's someone else in that agency who also dropped their family name as well. More on that later. But first, back to Chiharu. She voiced the character Sera in the strategy mobile game Brown Dust, aka Brave Nine, which I think was her first voiceover role after joining Hibiki. Then in 2022, she would voice twin sisters Miki and Rene in Teppan, as well as Setsuna in Black Summoner. Then in 2023, her only named role was Mari in Temple. But she did technically debut into D4DJ for the Little Kolili Arisugawa Academy stage play as the student council secretary with some other lovely familiar faces. Then her agency decided to make a unit consisting of the girls signed to them, the unit being named Anamalia Q. No music yet, but I'm sure it's just like a month or so away. And that's it for her main career, but over the years having some minor roles in Pretty Cure, D4DJ, 100 Girlfriends, Ace Attorney, Masamune's Revenge, Yupon Again, Record of Grand Crest War, and Mashal. Lives include all of the Nanabun stuff, prior to her graduation of course, the two Hibiki festivals that happened since she joined, and also the Lily stage play that I said a minute ago. And actually that's it for her career as a whole, so now let's move on to a bunch of fun facts. She's 160 centimeters or 5 foot 2, has both Instagram and Twitter X, as well as a personal YouTube where she has only posted a few covers but also done a couple of live streams. Also having a show on Cookpad Live. Back in the day, Chiharu created a bird salary man character called Toriman. She used him as a mascot character for her showroom live streams. He apparently had a wife and children and was looking for a job in order to aim for higher heights. I assume that last part was a reflection of her own personal wants. But she also ran the Bar Hokusei Corner in which she answered questions as if she were a wise bartender. When she was in middle school, she was in the basketball club. Despite this, she claims that she barely showed up and didn't know any of the rules of basketball. Classic. She also said that she was very unhelpful during her time in school and people had a hard time talking to her because of her expression, and would even skip school when a new game released just to play it. And actually, despite being the leader of Nanabun, Chiharu didn't think she was very leader-like, though others would describe her as someone who was very mature for her age. Her favorite songs in the group were So Are No Emerald because she liked the lyrics, but also Ida Ten Musume because all of the 11 members at the time had a solo part. Also, her favorite character is Raika. Well, great choice. But also saying that she likes Yuki as well. Also, prior to the consent of using their real names, Chiharu went under the alias Honoka Noka, which is like the least most creative thing ever, like, hi, my name is Jimbo Jim. Anyway, her biggest influences are Chiwa Saito, Mai Uchida, and the Seiyu unit Iris. All fantastic choices. Some things that she dislikes are black beans, girlish things, and the hustle and bustle of city life. She is very much a country girl, normally speaking in Kansai dialect, but when she's on camera, she tries to hide it. Her favorite food is okra, which is like a plant asparagus looking thing, but also anything spicy. As well as loving games, she would play video games the night before a big event to calm her nerves. She especially likes the Persona series, mostly 3, 4, and 5. When she played Persona 3 as a female protagonist, she actually chose Kanamata as her love interest. Kind of odd considering he's like 10, but okay. I think she just outed herself as a Shotokan. But she said she also really likes I guess as well, and liking Hifumi from Persona 5. Fantastic choice, man, I totally agree. I'm also writing this like a few weeks before the remake comes out, and I'm sure this will be out after that, but either way, I'm sure she is hyped to play the new version. Actually, she even went with fellow Nanaboon members Rudy and Urara to see Rebu Starlight's first stage play, and afterwards took them to the walkway in Shibuya Station that served as a hideout in Persona 5, because she is a nerd. 
Then her favorite Pokemon are Arcanine and Snivy. She also loves anime like Fruits Basket and the Italia series, specifically loving the character Spain, and recommends that people watch Totodora, Psychopaths, and Code Geass. The last of her favorites are children, having a nursery teacher qualification, which she went to school for where she met Hina Suguta, the guitarist of Morphonica from Bang Dream, both of them being big influences on each other, having a gaming program together and a digital photo book together. Before joining Nanabun, Chiharu had previously tried and failed many other auditions. She actually found out about the Nanabun auditions when her mother sent her a link to them and encouraged her to try it. Speaking of, both of her parents are in a band together. Her older brother also seems to be gifted in the musical arts, and well, as for her older sister, you may not know it from the last name, but her Onesan, the one in the same agency as her, is actually Aimi Terakawa, which is kind of old news at this point, but maybe someone newer to all this might not know. Also, during the beginning of the pandemic, she had a lot of free time, so she started to learn how to play bass guitar as a new hobby, even though she claims to have no sense of musical instruments. Finally, Chiharu often puffs out her cheeks, which she calls her octopus face. And with that, we have reached the ending. As always, I do hope you've enjoyed and learned something new. Chiharu is very, very pretty, used to be quite underrated as well, but now it seems that people actually acknowledge her talent. Just hoping that companies do the same in the future. Also hoping she performs more in D4DJ. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, perhaps subscribe if you want to. But definitely join me in the next one about the fourth main live group in the Love Live franchise. I look forward to seeing you there.